So let's talk about the comparison operators in PHP. So if you're going to be doing if else statements or if you're going to be doing loops, you need to test the value of a variable against something to decide what should happen next. So is the value of a variable equal to something? Is it greater than something? Less than something? Ne uh, not equal to something? Less than or equal to something? Greater than or equal to something? Basically, this is what's going to decide whether a loop should continue or what should happen in an if else statement. So comparison operators are basically just a very simple concept. This is a very simple part of math you probably learned when you were about eight. And all you're doing is you're asking, is the value of a variable equal to a value? Is it not equal to a value? Is it less than the value? Is it greater than the value? Is it less than or equal to the value? Or is it greater than or equal to the value? And if that is true, then the rest of the code will run or the loop will continue. So that's all we're really talking about with comparison operators. With comparison operators, this is one of those, this is one of those reasons I suggest people buy a book. Now again, if you like the internet, you don't like books. Me as an old timer, I like a book because as you can see here, when you start looking at comparison operators and also something called logical operators, when you're new, it's very easy to just be able to open up to a page and have everything listed here. One of the big issues we want to run into with new coders is that they think, they imagine, it's not true, they imagine that they can memorize everything and then they screw up some little line of code and they spend the next three hours trying to figure out one little screw up uh, and then they get frustrated and they quit. So simply being able to have cheat sheets like this when you're writing an if or a loop or something like that and just making sure you're writing things how they're supposed to be written, that can make your life a hell of a lot easier. So with that, let's go over to the computer and I can give you a demonstration of how these comparison operators work. So this is a very simple comparison operator script. Basically, this is just a way to say hello to somebody if they come to your website and make them feel as if it's a little personalized and then decide uh, based on their age whether or not they're allowed to enter. So in this, obviously, we open up with uh, the PHP tag. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create dollar sign name as a variable. And for the first test, we are going to set it to Bob. Now, when you set a variable in PHP, it's important that you use the double quotation marks. And then, of course, you close with a semicolon. We're then also going to create the, val the, the variable age. And currently, we're going to set that value to 20. So these are the two variables that we're going to be using for this particular script. Now what we're going to do is we're going to simply go into a comparison. So we have an, an else if statement here. So this is an if, else if else statement. And so what we're going to say is if name, dollar sign name, equal, equal. So if it's two equal signs, it means is it equal to. Remember, if you only put in a one equal sign, that's going to try to set the value of the variable to what it is. So one equal sign uh, will set the value of a variable two equal signs questions whether the two are equal. And then when we're going to be doing this, whether it's a loop or whether it's in the if statement, we're going to use a single quotation mark uh, for a string, and we're going to put in Bob. So currently, the value of name is Bob. And so down here, we're going to ask, is the value of the variable Bob? Going to close with a single quotation mark, close parentheses, open squiggly bracket. So if this is true, so with if and else if statements, the question is, if this is true, then open uh, squiggly bracket, print, and then hello, sir. So just a normal hello, sir. So basically, if it's Bob, we're going to say hello, sir. We're going to then close the squiggly brackets. We're then going to say else if, so an additional if, right? And then we're going to open parentheses, dollar sign name again. Again, equal, equal, so two equal signs. So if name equals Sue, again, remember single quotation marks here. And then we're going to close parentheses, squiggly bracket. Then we're going to say print hello, ma'am. So basically, if it's Bob, we're going to say, hello, sir. If it's Sue, we're going to say, hello, ma'am. Else, since we're doing an else, else if, else statement, else if it's not Bob or Sue, we're going to print, who are you? So that's going to be the, 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 the fail out if, if those aren't true. We're then going to come down. So this closes out with a squiggly bracket. We're then going to come down, and we're going to simply print a break. So we print the break. Uh, this is for HTML. So in an HTML, it will put 
that on one line and the next thing on the next line. And then down here, we're going to do a comparison operator for a number. So we're going to say if, and we're going to say the value of the variable age is greater than or equal to 18. Now it is important that you put these in the right position. So this greater than or equal to or less than or equal to will work equal to or greater than or equal to and less than will not work. So the greater sign or the lesser sign goes first and then the equal. So if age is greater than or equal to 18, and this is important because if I simply put greater than 18, what does that mean? That means 19 and above, right? 18 is not greater than 18, right? They're equal to. So if I said if age is greater than 18, that means in order for this, this if statement to run, it would have to be like at least 8.00001, right? It would have to be greater for it to run. So what we do is we say greater or equal to 18, and so that gives us the 18-year-old cutoff. So this is important to be thinking about when you're writing these scripts. You know, if you have a, let's say, an age of 21 cutoff, so again, for an adult site, maybe a porn site or something, you know, and so you have to be 21 and above to, to, to look uh, at it. If you simply put greater than 21, then that means 21-year-olds will not be able to see it, that they would have to be 22 because 22 is greater than 21. So important thing to be thinking about with these comparison operators. Then all we're going to do, again, standard if-else, squiggly. Uh, so if the, a, the value of age is greater than or equal to 18, we're going to print, you can enter. Else, simple else, print you cannot enter. And then we're going to close the squiggly brackets, and then we're going to close the, the PHP, and that's the script. So basically, when we're doing a comparison against a number, so a number value, 18, 18.88, 18 whatever, you don't have to use any quotation marks. If you're going to be testing against a string, so a name or a sentence or something like that, you use the single quotation marks. When you run this then, we go over the Silicon Dojo and we do slash comparison PHP. So it says, hello, sir, you can enter. So if we look, the value of the variable name is Bob. So if the value of the variable name is equal to Bob, you're going to say, hello, sir, his age is 20. So age is greater than or equal to 18, says you can enter. So if we go here and let's say we change the name to Sue. So we're going to say the, na the person's name is Sue and they're 15 years old. We are going to save. We are then going to upload. And then we're simply going to refresh. So hello, ma'am, you cannot enter. So it says hello, ma'am, because the value is now Sue. So else if the value equals Sue. The age is 15, so the age is under 18, so you go to the else, so it says that you cannot enter. If we do here, and we say, uh, I don't know, we just put in George, and we again, we put in 25, then we put save, then we upload, and then we refresh, and now it says, who are you? So you're new, you can enter. The reason being is the name, the value of the name George is not Bob, it is not Sue, therefore it defaults, it fails out to else, age is 25, age is greater than 18, therefore it says you can enter. So this is basically how uh, the comparison operators work in a very simple script. So that's basically all there is to comparison operators in PHP. All you're looking for is does the value of a variable equal, not equal, whatever, something else. If that is true, then an event will be triggered, something that will happen. Now it is important to understand, since this is a beginner level PHP class, uh, that there are far more comparison operators. So you can get a lot more complicated with this. One of the problems that, that you run into though, is that I think people can get very confused when when new people get beyond equal to or greater than less than or not equal to you start running into an issue where they start they start questioning like what's the difference between equal to and identical 
And here's the thing, right? At this point in time, you don't, you probably don't need to worry about what the difference is between uh, being the same versus being identical. That's that's kind of a technical thing, which does become more important as you do more complicated uh, programs. But right now, equal to should be fine. You probably don't have to worry about identical. Now, if you are interested in more of these operators and don't want to have to write a uh, buy a book, if you go to php.net, they do list out these operators. I can show you over on the computer real quick. So you can do a simple Google search for php.net and then look up comparison operators. And that's when you get into this whole list of different comparison operators. And to be clear, if you are new, I would not suggest you get too worried about these. This can make you very confused needlessly. So as I talked about with uh, with the demonstration, we have equal to. So equal to equal to means equal. So is one equal to another? But if you have equal to equal to equal to, that means identical. Not is no, not only is the value the same, but the data type is the same. What that means is something we'll worry about in a different class. And so that's where I get worried when you start looking at too many of these things. Uh, one of the things that I didn't show you in the, the demonstration is the not equal to. So all not equal to is, is is if you do the exclamation point equal, that means not equal. So if dollar sign age is not equal to 20, so then do something, right? So that should be triggered. Uh, then you have a lot of this other like weird stuff, right? If you have a less than beside a great size, beside a greater than sign, you can get a not e not equal to after type juggling, which again, this can be important later <laughs> later in life again not identical but then we have less than here we have greater than here again less than or equal to or greater than or equal to so this is very important in coding everything has to be written uh, perfectly so it is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to if you put the equal sign before it just won't work right and then you come down here and you have this spaceship thing or whatever so these are the the comparison operators and this can give you a better idea of some of the other comparison operators something for you to be thinking about if you're watching this particular video i would say very simple equal to not equal to greater than less than equal to or greater or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to i would stick with those right for this second and not worry about the others right now and so those are the comparison operators, and those are how they work. Again, a very simple thing, but a very important. Again, if you're going to be doing if-else statements, if you're going to be doing loops, you have to be able to compare uh, the, the values of variables and make sure that the script runs based off of what those values are. So that's all uh, that there is to comparison operators, and that's why they matter.